Hey sisters, welcome back to HB Ministries. Again, a ministry for you to believe, behold, and become all God's created you to be in whatever season of life. So for all of those that have been here and been through my monthly devotions with me, welcome back to today's devotion. For those that are new, you are welcomed. What we do here in this ministry is we minister to each other, we encourage each other in three ways. Number one, I do daily devotions here with a couple grace days. Um, and you can find that calendar over at heatherbaxter.com. Here's the website right here. All of the devotions are on there. For this month, we are going through my run book, a book I published about four years ago, which was my personal journal. Um, I learned to run in such a way with God. I really learned that it was about a relationship and not a religion. And I'm taking you through that book in the month of June, but it's never for you, too late for you to jump on. Um, May was a fabulous month. We collabed with Cherie, uh, Sisters in Christ, and I met some wonderful ladies there. I'm hoping to collab again with her in the future. And I'm already praying about what is going to happen in July. So stay tuned for that. I'm thinking that we're going to go through a study. I'm kind of got some things down and I will um, let you know about that. Also, you can join the HB Bible Study and Resource page, which is our Facebook Bible Study community. And over there is where I post. I kind of let you know everything that's happening. And then finally, every single Friday, we do a live study at one o'clock on YouTube, a live study, which I'm encouraging you to start creating live watch parties after that. You can share that and utilize it. Um, and it's a great time. If you subscribe to HeatherBaxter.com, you get your study notes sent out on Thursday night. These notes look like anything like this. They're notes that you will take um, all of your notes on as I speak to you in the lesson. And I'm encouraging you to build up your own personal war binder. Where your notes are at, you can create a file cabinet. To the right of me, I'm in my girl cave down here. Um, I have a file cabinet and it's labeled under everything from hope to faith to prayer to marriage to peace um, to forgiveness. And I have just different things. And as I get sermon notes or if I you know, listen to a teacher, I find file it under there so I have um, things to share and things to pull out when I'm in a season. So um, that's a little bit about the housekeeping and what's going on here. I always like to let you know. Um, but otherwise, today's lesson is really, really good. And we're going to talk about Proverbs 29, 18. Again, that is on the calendar. Um, and we're going to talk about um, what you, dreaming and writing some visions down and what does that mean. But I want to really zoom in um, on the idea, which is what our Friday study is going to be about. I'm going to try to help you gain positivity in this season of transition. There's still a lot of going, going on. We just came out of the weirdest season. 2020 has been nothing but weird. Okay. Can we agree to that? If so, just put weird in the comments. And so if we're going to do it God's way, um, we need revelation from him. And that's truly what vision's about. I mean, a lot of people think when I teach vision, which is true, writing your long range goals, writing things that you want to reach, that's all important. I'm, I'm a huge visioneering person. As a matter of fact, I've got some visions wrote down right now for the future, but I'm not sure where they're going to go because I need a revelation from God first. And that's your true vision. So there's nothing wrong with writing goals down, but it's getting the vision from God and that will revision the vision if the, the visions that you have down if that makes sense. So today's verse was 2918 and it says I'm going to read it here where there is no vision the people perish but he that keepeth the law happy is he. What I want you to understand is a lot of times um people take this word vision in this um, scripture and think that it's just focus and effort on the goals that they have or something that they have um, laid down a vision for their future. And I teach a lot on it, but in this verse, that does not necessarily mean that. What this ver word means, vision translated in Hebrew means hazon, hazon, H-A-Z-O-N. And what that means is revelation. So where there is no revelation, the people perish. So of course, we're going to write dreams down and I'm going to talk to you about the word dream today. And we're going to write special things down of what could be and should be in our future. Just like if you look in my, my vision board back here, I have that all down. That's all good and well. But the Lord has the freedom to, the Lord has the freedom to move all pieces around so that his revelation that he gives to me will create a prophetic word 
which is the vision and help me see where I need to go based on my gifts, based on the characters in my life, based on what he's teaching me, that all has to line up. That's first and foremost. And then you are going to live out the will of God. So basically, your vision cannot come to pass unless you heed Christ's wisdom, which is revelation, which is the word hazon. So that's very, very important to understand that God's special revelation is a direct correlation between our moral state and knowing and submitting to God's special revelation. So that is really what that verse is really teaching us. So now what I want to do quickly is I made a handout and this is not for our live study Friday. Um, this is for today. If you have the run book, which many of you do, um, you will notice in the Google calendar, I have the pages and it's page 95, I believe through 99. Um, is all about the word dream. And this is such a great place for you to write down some things, learn about God's word, learn about um, dreaming out loud. This is a bookmark I shared at one of my conferences. And remembering that when you're dreaming out loud, you're reading God's word daily, you're praying daily, you're fasting, you're seeking wise counsel, you're watching all your circumstances. We had a lesson on this. I don't know if anybody remembers, it was one of our live studies. Um, and you're gonna make a decision and step in faith. But you make decisions and step on faith based on revelations from God's word. And he will direct you. So, 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 so important to understand that when we dream out loud, we have dreams, directions, which are revelations, and that's how you make your decisions. So important. It's a game changer. So today, I wanted to talk to you about the word dream, and um, I would highly recommend, I will screenshot this so you can kind of get an idea, but I would just take the word dream, D-R-E-A-M, and put that in your journals, okay? This is time for you to take some notes and just um, listen to what I have to say today and write it down and then ponder it. Remember, the goal in these lessons is for you to ponder what you're learning and then on the rest days with your grace days and also on um, the weekends, you are going and getting the journal right here. See that little journal? You're clicking that and you're journaling out what you're learning during the week. So this is a great opportunity to really go back and journal this out a little further. So let's go ahead, let me move my computer and let me grab my notes. And I know I will not overwhelm you, but here's my notes on dream. And I'm not going to give you all of it, but look at some teaching there, sisters. There's some teachings. But what I want you to do is just take the word dream, write it out. Again, I'm going to screenshot this right now so you can see it. I highly recommend that you pause the video for a minute and put those verses underneath and go ahead and do look up the verses later that go with that letter so you can really pull the word dream together. We are going to kind of take a minute and we're going to look at um, Nehemiah because Nehemiah was a dreamer in the midst of a challenge. There needed to be change in the midst of this challenge. There were things that were going on and um, he needed to figure out how to dream, but he needed God's revelation in all of it. So anyway, the letter D, of course, is going to represent the word dream. A diligent dreamer with a vision or a revelation for a destination. We cannot be taking steps without revelation from God's word, period. That involves moving. That involves marriage, finding somebody. Anything in your life is pivotal to receive a revelation from God. And I've taught several times how you find that. So it's okay to write down a dream of what could be or should be. That's what a diligent dreamer needs to be. But now throughout the year, or if you're giving yourself a month goal or, or, or quarterly goals, then you receive the revelation. Remember the word hazan to see what God is telling you to do. And really think how many people actually live that way. Not a lot. The letter R means risks. Now, Nehemiah in the Bible saw all kinds of risks, struggles, obstacles, people complaining in his life, characters in his life that weren't on board with him. And he still take, took risks, which set him up for an opportunity. A lot of times you won't hear a revelation from God until you take the risk. You knock somewhere and see if God's behind that door. He'll answer through prayer. He'll answer through somebody else or he'll answer through revelation. Hazan, where there is no revelation, the people perish. So you need to take risks to find your rev revelation and build. The letter E is establish. Nehemiah established goals and strategies brick by brick when he was going to rebuild the wall. Goals and strategy, strategies, and he shared those with, his, uh, uh, with everybody so that they would be on the same page. So if you're doing something in your marriage, share the goals 
and then look for the revelation together. If you're not like-minded, which happens a lot, one spouse isn't, you know, looking in that direction, God can still lead the one that's listening for the revelation and then bring it all together. So maybe that's a word for you. Uh, a, in the word dream, A, accountability. Everybody needs somebody in the program to help them be accountable. So find somebody. If it's not somebody directly in your family, find a faith-based friend. They're out there. Um, it's very important. Uh, Nehemiah was number one accountable to his God and he knew the word and he obeyed. He knew the word and he obeyed and he had a few good men with him that were accountable with him as he was establishing goals and strategies, as he was a staying accountable to God in his personal life and to the characters in his life. Very important. The last letter is M and that is multiply. When you're doing this, you are multiplying wisdom to those watching you. Your kids are watching you, your husband's watching you, others are watching you. You will multiply and encourage others to join how God speaks to join the revelation, to join the movement. So sometimes challenge is good, change is good because it helps us revision, reset up our lives to really receive a revelation from God and move things around um, with passion, um, with new purpose. Um, and God's favor on our life. That's probably the most important thing, God's favor. I want you to receive a revelation from God. I want you to move forward with God's favor. Um, and so we're setting up for a revision in this odd time, in this setup of 2020, where we all had these visions put down and then everything shut down. It's time for a revision. And so I'm just sharing some wisdom and I'm telling you, you're not gonna wanna miss Friday's study um, because that is going to be huge. Now, tomorrow, I am heading um, to the Sulax with my husband, which is way up in the UP, um, Michigan. We're leaving early. He has a business meeting. I plan to go live as soon as I get to the Sulax. And so if you really want to know, if you're watching this right now, right now, because you're involved in my monthly studies, um, stay tuned on HB Bible Study and Resource page for the exact time. Right now, I'm shooting for one o'clock live like I always do. And I'll be coming from the Sulax up in the UP um, with your message. So right now I'm still, everything's staying the same unless something crazy happens. I'll go live and let you know over on the HB Bible Study and Resource page. But for now, I will see you tomorrow live. Tonight I will be uh, sending you your newsletters with all your notes, which you are not going to want to miss because it's going to be a great message tomorrow and it's going to go along with today's. So um, have a blessed day. Um, I hope all is doing well. I I've got one good news. Uh, next week I get to go get my hair done. Finally get to go to the salon. I mean, I am inches long. I need my layers back. Um, look like a wild woman. Um, but I'm excited. I'm, I'm very excited. I know many of you have said, oh, I love your hair color. I'm usually really dark and I love it all dark. So I cannot wait for that. Um, nail salons and everything around here are backed up a month. Can you believe it? Even my lady and I'm like, whatever. I'm, I'm over it. No big deal. Um, God loves me with nails or without nails. So anyway, I hope that this gives you a little push today and I will see you tomorrow. Blessings, ladies. And please, I want you to leave me a comment of what jumped out to you today. What really helped you in today's message? Please leave it in the comments below. If you're loving these devotions, then um, I'm encouraging you to subscribe to the channel um, and share share these uh, videos with a friend, with a loved one. So be blessed and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.